If you've bought legal marijuana, I'm sure you've noticed that there's only a few ways that you can do it. The young industry is still working its kinks out, both here and across the country. Traction on Capitol Hill is leaving our local cannabis sellers cautiously hopeful for some eased banking regulations. WMAR 2 News Jack Watson here now with more in this report. Jack, what'd you find out? Well, Kelly, here's the deal. A new version of a bill left a Senate committee. They've been working on it for a while and sent it to the calendar for a vote. Among other things, it could mean you could use a credit card to buy legal cannabis. Nothing set in stone yet, but it's leaving Maryland sellers with some guarded optimism. The legal cannabis industry was less than one month old when we last checked in with Kip Dispensary's Matthew Hirsch in Cockeysville. Business is good, but finding consistency in how that business gets done has been tough. In the last three months, we've gone through three different uh, payment providers for debit cards. Legally, their customers can't use credit cards. It's cash or debit only. Traction on Capitol Hill could change the way shops like Hershey's do business. The Senate Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs Committee moved the Safer Banking Act, a version of an older effort, to a Senate vote. It would create more banking opportunities for legal cannabis and the big one, credit card payments. Maryland Senator Chris Van Hollen, who sits on the committee, calls marijuana criminalization draconian. In a statement to WMAR2 News, he says, quote, The Safer Banking Act is one important step forward in eliminating the industry's current cash-only economy and the many risks and burdens that come with it. Hirsch, who runs a smaller shop, still sees an issue. Even with the Safe Banking Act, smaller cannabis companies are still going to be considered risky banking loans. And the bigger dominant ones are going to be able to become more dominant. And they're already the ones that are not suffering as much during this uh, process. Hirsch tells me any real step forward would come outside the purview of Maryland, a change in how America's laws and America itself views marijuana. We are excited about any progress that's made. We keep track of it and hope that there's going to be changes to the way that we can bank. But the reality is until descheduling happens or federal uh, legalization, they're, they're, it's only going to be step stones. Again, by and large, business is good and has been since the state legalized adult use cannabis on July 1st. Hirsch says it's been growing steadily each week. Well, again, for that bill in Washington, this is a major step out of committee. It is still not law yet. The Senate still has to vote on it. It has to go to the House, which, as we know, is going through other issues right now. So it looks like it'll be a while before the president would get it. In the past, President Biden has said he would support similar legislation, Kelly.